everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today to be sharing this makeup look with you. You guys, this is something that like, this is me stepping on my comfort zone a little bit more and this is the makeup look that I promised you guys I would film when I filmed my review on the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You guys, this palette is freaking bomb. I haven't been able to set it down. I absolutely love the smoky eye and I hope you guys will too. So if you guys would like to see how you get this look right here then just keep on watching all right so we are gonna go ahead and start off the look by priming my face with the usual my Maybelline blur and illuminate primer you guys I seriously I love this primer it's really good for especially moisturizing the face if you're someone has really dry sensitive skin this primer is great now I'm not gonna go ahead and do my face first um, usually I do because like every day I don't really wear this much makeup like I'm wearing today as you guys can see in the beginning. Um, but I'm finally doing my first like makeup look with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I am in love with this look. Like it's a lot of makeup but it's so fun to do. While we're working on the eyes this primer can really soak in and do its magic. I'm breaking out a ton, especially around this area. I need lots of sweets. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and like prime my eyes. I'm just, honestly, you guys, I'm just gonna use some of my Maybelline Master Conceal. And I'm going to be concealing my eyes. I really wanna buy the MAC Paint Pot. I think the next time that I go to Ulta, I gotta return some stuff that I got for doing makeup for a wedding that I guess I just didn't really need and then I can just go ahead and get that because when I went there, like at the altar that I usually go to, they weren't carrying MAC yet, which I thought that they were being carried in all stores in June, but I guess the one that I go to is just a little behind. All right, now I'm gonna be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you guys don't have this, you guys seriously need this in your life. Like, they are so much better than regular Morphe eyeshadows. I'm so picky now that I have been using these ones over my other <laughs> Morphe palettes, which they're still good, but they're not, like, as good as this one. All right, so now I'm going to be taking some shadow shields. I never thought that I would ever use these, but I do every once in a while, but not very often. I'm not really sure what the names of the eyeshadows are because I didn't get a little card thing in my box. So I'm just going to be taking... A mixture of this shade here and this shade here as well and I'm just gonna be taking that on my M441 brush Alright, now I'm going to be going into a shade that's a few shades darker than the transition shade we just put on this one right here just like a burnt orange and I'm gonna take that on the same M441 brush I'm going to be taking my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to be taking this gorgeous burnt orange shade right here. Now I'm just going to be taking it and starting out on the outer part of my eye. Now you guys can see that obviously I'm bringing this a lot lower than those other shades. Now this smoky eye, there's, like, there's just a lot of blending and going back and forth and back and forth between all of the shades. But I am bringing it into the inner corner, but I'm focusing the main pigment on the brush on the outer part of my eye. But now I'm going back in with that transition shade. I'm just gonna really blend that out. So I'm gonna be taking a mixture of this brown here and then also this one as well. All right, now I'm gonna be a lot more precise with this shade. Keeping it on the outer part of my eye, mainly focusing it there. All right, now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of that burnt orange shade again. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that crease. It's a lot better if you go in with less pigment and really blend it out than if you were to just 
go in with a ton of product and not be able to blend it out. All right, now that we have our eyeshadow blended out the way that I want it, they just blend out so freaking nicely. I'm gonna be taking my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit on there. And then I'm just going to, now, when I first did this makeup look, I did applied these eyeshadows, well, the shade that I'm about to go in with, with no primer whatsoever and I got so many compliments and here's the thing any eyeshadow is always going to perform better with like a fix plus or with an eyeshadow primer of course it's going to be lasting a lot longer this makeup look that I'm showing you guys I use no primer nothing and it lasted all day I mean I took my makeup off at like midnight when I did this makeup look it lasts a long time which is why I love these shadows but today, I don't know why I'm going in with a makeup primer. I'm just going to go in today. So now that I have that eyeshadow primer on, and if you guys are wondering like what's going on with this eye, I'm going to finish it off camera. But I'm going to be taking this gorgeous blue shader here. You guys, this is seriously so freaking pretty. It's like a bright blue shade with gold flecks in it. Literally, it's so pretty. So once again, it's just this one in the bottom left corner. Now I'm going to be going back in with those dark brown shades again. I'm just going to start off in the outer corner. I'm just going to really diffuse the edges of the shadow. And then I'm going to go back in with that burnt orange shade. And then we're going to go back in with the transition shade as well. I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye. And I will be right back. And then we'll pull these shadow shields off and then pop on some lashes. Alright, so now I went ahead and popped on some lashes and finished up my eyes. Now we're going to be moving on to the face. I'm going to be taking a mixture of my Maybelline Better Skin Foundation in the shade 20 Clis Clisic Ivory. Classic Ivory. Alright, so now I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I'm just going to be applying this to any breakouts I have. I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. Alright, now I'm going to be baking my under eye area with my Cody Airspun. You guys, I don't think I will ever... Oh god. I think I put too much powder on. Oh my god. Okay. I went a little ham on that side. Seriously. Like, Krista, tone it down a bit. And then I'm going to be brushing that away with my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. Holy smokes. It's going to be a dry desert under my under eye area today. Alright, so now I'm going to kind of try and mimic what I did on the eyes to the lower lash line. And I'm sorry if I'm blinking a ton. I don't know what is going on with this eye. It's not my eyelash. I just have like a little hair in my eye and it's like poking me every five seconds, so... If you're wondering why I'm blinking so much, that is why. 
I'm going to be taking my Morphe M432 brush, just like a flat um, shader brush here like this. I'm going to start out by taking a mixture of this burnt orange shade and then that third shade we went in with right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and dip in to this shade right here that we have on the outer part of our eye. And I'm going to stipple that on the outer part of my eye but along the lash line. And then I'm going to go back in and take these two shades that we used um, as our transition shade. So I'm going to clean off this brush and I'm going to take my um, IB Beauty crease brush. And take that transition shade I'm going to really smoke up the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be taking that really bright blue shade again, this one right here. I'm going to put that just about like right here and here. And then I'm just going to blend all those shades together along the lower lash line. All right now that we have the lower lash line done, we are going to do a brow highlight and our inner corner highlight. But before we go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because my camera is dying. Alright, so <laughs> you guys can obviously see that the makeup look is completely done. And that is because I realized I forgot to hit the record button while I was finishing up my face. So what I was saying was I went ahead and finished off the eyebrows. I then went in with a shade that I'm absolutely loving from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's the second one right here. It is the most gorgeous shade ever. I have it on my brow bone, my inner corner, and on my cheeks, my nose, my chin. Anywhere where I want some glow, that's where I put it. And I also went in with my Makeup Revolution blush palette in um, Goddess, and I am absolutely loving it. And I went in with this peachy shade here. It's just really subtle on the cheeks. It's not much. I didn't want a very, like, ba-bam in your face. Uh, blush because obviously the eyes are like pretty dramatic right now and it's just a really fun makeup look that has a little bit of a pop of color and I really love it. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. Before I was like struggling like trying to figure out what kind of lip color I wanted to do but I just of course decided to pick a nude shade but I just went in with the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint in the shade Spicy Blush and I figured that this was like a really pretty shade for the look. It just really ties the look together. But to tie off the look, one thing that I haven't done already, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to spray the hell out of my face. But I don't think I have anything else for you guys. Sorry that I did, like, didn't hit the record button. Um... That's just a big fail on my part. Sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let me know by hitting the like button down below. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the little bell by the subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, that's everything I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.